feet. Yeah, don't be afraid. Use your arms. Use your arms. Pull it in. Come on, let's have it. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I, I'm pretty sure you guys could do that all day. <laughs> right? these, these strikes are probably the coolest out there. They're the greatest. Work is that every, every uh, just put your feet about shoulder, a little wider than shoulder width. Don't bring your hands out in front. And what we're gonna do is you're gonna practice swinging outward. You're gonna drop your right hand and go out. Drop your left hand and go out. Now where the timing goes is that you have to make sure it gets down, it, gets, it drops and goes up quick. Okay, so you're gonna come to the inside and out. Inside and out. But if it's if if, if it's, the timing is just a little uh, too quick, you can just push your hand out. The key element though is that you flex when it gets out there. Flex. You don't want to just strike a strike. If you strike a strike, you're gonna get hit. If you're trying to hit it, the timing can be way off and miss it. If you lock it and get firm, it will run into it. That's what you want. So get your hand out. Put, you want your hand ever so slightly away from you. You want a bit of an angle to the block because you want for absorbance. So you want to get it Okay, you're not gonna kick you. Come on, come on, Jack. 
That's my back. All right. That the big thing again is your circle of safety is always fingertips distance. Your fingertips distance. If you got any closer, okay, that's right there. All right. So if I was here and he was walking closer, you could stick your fingers in their chest and stop them. And right from there, of course they're gonna be they're gonna be kind of like what? And wham! And then you know, kick him again. If you have that sense, and that is all of the way again, if, somebody, if you have that interaction with another male, or even another female, listen to them. You know, make sure you're at a, certain, a safety distance, enough that if, if they did come towards you to attack you, that you would recognize it, you would see it, you would sense it, you would know it, and then back off even more. Create more to make eye contact. And what is it not okay to make eye contact? Well. Uh, if I bring uh, Sean out here, if eye contact is something like, again, you're, you're, you're feeling a little unsafe, all right? You can distract this person by, hey, what time is it? Or, isn't it a really pretty day? You know, it's just something right away to distract them for the moment. Moment, make eye contact with them. Even if, say you're walking by a corner and you feel a little uneasy with this person. You know, you want to look at them, make eye contact, and then keep going. Just sit there and stare at them the whole time and glare at them. <laughs> Because you're only been asking for more problems out here. <laughs> you know, but it's kind of like when you're walking by, you, you make eye contact and you keep walking, but it's a way that you just let them know that you notice them. You know that they're there. Julie's going to go first. Julie's going to come right over here to Tony, and Tony's going to just swing the bat at her. We're going to go for 10 seconds. 10 seconds is up. Julie's over here with Bob. 10 seconds with Bob. As the next person comes over here. Pretty soon, you're going to be doing 10 seconds with every single person. And of course, the last few, you get the opportunity to multiple. Yeah. Let's go. Nine, eight, seven. 